Today, I'm going to tell you guys how my mom cleans and cooks her collard greens. Let's get started. Keep in mind that every mother does not clean and cook their greens like my mom. First, place your greens in a clean sink. Inspect all of your greens for insects, holes, and discoloration on the leaves. Then separate the smaller leaves from the larger ones. After you separate your leaves, fill both sinks up with cold water. And then add in some iodized salt and let the greens sit in the salt water for 20 minutes. Salt will kill any insects that have attached themselves to the leaves and it reduces bacteria from the bugs. After 20 minutes, drain the salt water off the collard greens and clean the sink out with dish soap and warm water. This is another rinse to remove any dead insects from the collard greens. Notice on my mom's finger, there's an insect called a cabbage worm. These worms tear holes in the collard greens leaves. Rinse each green leaf individually to remove any other hidden insects that are still hanging around your collard greens. When my mom cleans greens, 
she likes to clean the whole leaf to know that they are being thoroughly cleaned. Normally, people like to cut up their greens before washing. In my opinion, I feel like the greens are not being properly cleaned. As soon as you drain the greens, don't forget to clean out your sink. By the way, these greens came straight out of my mom's garden. Now we are finished with the pre-washing and rinsing. It's time to start deep cleaning these collard greens. Fill the sink halfway with cold water. Add any liquid that you prefer to clean your greens. My mom already soaked her greens in salt water and they have been rinsed a few times but she's still not satisfied with the cleanliness of these greens. Last cleaning process, gently rub your fingers on every part of the leaves from top to bottom. To remove any leftover dirt or insects that still may be on these leaves.
tear off any part of the leaves with holes from the cabbage worms. Then drain the water after you clean the last leaf. Look at the color of the water. It's a dirty green color. Feel free to comment on how well I'm doing with my voiceover in the comment box below. You have to have patience when cleaning greens because it is very time consuming. During the final rinse, the water needs to be clear and free of dirt and insects. In 
a large pot, add in your turkey tails, turkey necks, or whatever meat you prefer in your collard greens. Let the meat simmer on a medium heat for an hour. While you stack, roll, and cut your freshly cleaned collard greens. Place the greens on your work surface and stack them from larger leaves to smaller leaves. Then roll your greens tightly together and with a knife slice your greens evenly until all the greens are cut. When slicing your leaves, cut off an inch of your stem and dispose of them. Let's place our freshly cut greens in a pot. Next, she is going to add in some dry spices, adobo, Old Bay, Creole seasoning, black pepper, and apple cider vinegar. She's going to mix these seasonings in the greens and let them cook on a medium heat for about two hours or more, depending on how tender she wants these greens. check out the finished product. Not only do these greens look good, but they smell delicious. I can't wait to eat some greens.
Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Share my mom's videos with everybody in your contacts. Bye.